And now we will learn the last new type of transaction that you need to know. After this video, you have learned every possible kind of transaction that you need to know about when doing minimum QuickBooks. And it is paying business expenses from a non-business personal account. Well, anytime money comes from a personal account, like a personal credit card or personal bank account, and it pays for something related to the business. If money is going from personal to business, we say that in every one of those cases, that money amount is Holden's capital. That means it's the money that Holden invested from his personal into his business. Our QuickBooks file has only business accounts. So if Holden's paying from his personal checking or personal credit card, how do we record it? What do we do? First, we set up a register for Holden's Capital. We already have Holden's Capital as an account in the chart of accounts. We can open up a register window and put it up in the icon bar the same way that we did for Holden's other financial accounts. Each payment for business goes in the deposit column because it increases Holden's investment into the business. Let's take a look how to set this up. Now remember, to open a register window, click Banking Use Register. If you click the pull-down arrow, you get only the accounts and the chart of accounts that are able to be opened in a register window. Fortunately for us, Capital or Holden's Capital can be opened in a register window and then we click OK. Now, remember, yours might not open with the one line checked off. So normally when a register window opens, there are two lines for every one transaction. If you remember our first set of videos, Holden had a $900 investment that he put into Chase Bank, or excuse me, that he put into um, that he put into TNM Bank, and he also had a $200 investment that he put into Chase Bank. So the, this is the way those two previous transactions look in the Holden's Capital account from the videos at the beginning of Minimum QuickBooks. Once again, I strongly urge you to click the one line box so it's easier for your eyes to see every transaction across one line. Now that the register looks the way you want it to look, you click View, add Holden's Capital to the icon bar, and then click OK. Now if we close it out, we can go directly to the icon bar and open it up. Remember, every time Holden pays from his personal for a business item, that money amount goes in the increase column because it increases what Holden invested in his business. It does not matter which non-business account Holden pays from. He could pay from his personal bank account, to buy something for business. He could pay for his, from his credit card, personal credit card account, to pay for some business expense. Or he could even take personal cash from his, under his mattress or from his wife's pocketbook. But if the money is paid for business, it doesn't matter. You still have to record it in the capital register that we just opened up. For example, let's imagine that on July 22, Holden paid for a business delivery by FedEx with his personal bank account, check number 61, for $125. Because he paid from a personal non-business account for a business expense, we record this in the capital register. So, we open the capital register from the icon bar. The date was July 22nd. July 22nd. Now this was check number 61 from his personal account.
So even though we can't record it from his per in his personal account, we can still take the source document number and put it in the reference number field. The payee was FedEx. And the reason we paid FedEx is delivery expense. And the money we paid, which is $125, increases the amount that Holden actually invested in his business. And now we click record. Let's take a look at the next one. The next one says, July 23rd. Holden charged a business repair job to Rex Repair from his personal credit card. Here's the slip number, and it's $320. In the same capital register, we put the date of the charge, July 23rd. The reference number is 55441. That's what was on the slip. The vendor we paid was Rex Repair, and the reason we paid him was repair expense. Now, the money amount that Holden charged will increase his investment in the company. So on the one hand, the company has more repair expense, but on the other hand, Holden invested more in the company to cover the repair expense. We click Record, and then this increases what he invested. And of course, in the trial balance, you can see repair expense has increased to $420. This last one is very interesting. July 24, Holden paid for a business lunch with his biggest client. He now has a new expense that he has to put in the chart of accounts. Meals and entertainment, $75 cash, came from his wife's purse. And the restaurant gave him receipt number 171819. Let's take a look how to enter it. We put July 24th, receipt number 171819. We can leave the payee blank because we don't have to put the name of the restaurant if we don't want to. But there is no meals and entertainment expense on this list. So what do we do? We can add an account on the fly. You can click Add New. QuickBooks already knows that this is an expense type of account. If not, you would put it there. And we'll make the name meal, let's put a capital, meals and entertainment. Click save and close. And now you can see meals and entertainment has been added as an expense to the chart of accounts. And of course, we put the money amount, $75 of his wife's cash, has been invested in the business in the form of treating the biggest client to a beautiful dinner. We click record, and now notice the ending balance of Holden's capital is 1620, both in the register and on the trial balance. Holden's capital 1620. But for the very first time, this new expense, meals and entertainment, has shown up in the trial balance as $75. There's only two more things to remember. Video 9 shows how to transfer money into a business account from a personal account. So if that was a question on your mind, review video number 9 in this series. You should also remember video number 12 shows all about owner's withdrawals.